Antarctica was on fire 75 million years ago, ancient embers reveal. Now remember what uh, Admiral Richard Byrd told us in an interview that he had on uh, American television. He went there twice to do uh, explore Antarctica. One of them was uh, Project High Jump Expeditions. He says there was mountains of coal in Antarctica and he believed that it would be enough coal to uh, supply the world for at least three or four hundred years. And uh, that was one of his, he said the, 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 there was enough uh, undiscovered land, a livable land the size of America. Now here, this uh, concerning life science reports, raging wildfires tore through Antarctica 75 million years ago, back when dinosaurs still roamed the earth, according to a new study. It was during the late Cretaceous period, 100 million to 66 million years ago, one of the warmest periods on Earth. Antarctica's James Ross Island was home to a temperate forest of conifers, ferns, and even flowering plants known as angiosperms, as well as to a slew of dinosaurs. But it wasn't a total paradise. Ancient paleo fires burnt parts of these forests to a crisp, leaving behind coal, charcoal remnants that scientists have now scooped up and studied. Let's remember that uh, Antarctica was found to have 46 volcanoes, and recently uh, volcanologists found another 100. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. So was it uh, another extensive period of volcanism? We don't know. Now, they said here, this discovery expands the knowledge about the occurrence of vegetation fires during the Cretaceous, showing that such episodes were more common than previously imagined. This is what the study lead researcher Flaviana Jorge de Lima and uh, paleobiologist Federal University Perambuco in uh, Recife, Brazil said in their statement. The findings marks the first evidence on record of paleo fires on James Ross Island. It's a part of the Antarctic Peninsula that is now, now sits below South America. The discovery adds evidence that spontaneous fires were common in Antarctica during the campaign, the Campanian Age, about 84 million to 72 million years ago. In 2015, in a separate study, researchers documented the first known evidence of dinosaur age wildfires in West Antarctica. And that's where we have uh, Mount Erebus now erupting and uh, a lot of volcanoes on the West Coast. Now, according to the study in the journal Paleogeography, Paleoclimatology, Paleoecology, for the new work, an international team of scientists analyzed fossils collected during the 2015-16 expedition to the northeast part of James Ross Island. The fossils contained fragments of plants that looked like charcoal residue, which had weathered away over the past tens of millions of years. The charcoal fragments were small. The largest paper-thin pieces were just one and a half inches by 0.7 inches, that's 19 by 38 millimeters. But scanning electron microscope images reveal their identity. These fossils are likely burned gymnosperms, likely from a botanical family of conifer trees called Oracariaceae, the researchers found. Intense forest fires were frequent and widespread during the late Cretaceous. Almost most of the evidence for these blazes lies in the northern hemisphere with a few document cases in the Southern Hemisphere in now, what's now Tasmania, New Zealand, and Argentina. During the late Cretaceous, the supercontinent of Guan, uh, Gondwana was breaking up, leaving pieces like Antarctica more isolated than before. This ice-free region had plenty of ignition sources, including lightning strikes, fireballs from falling meteors, and volcanic activity as well as flammable vegetation and high oxygen levels, which help fires, uh, the re uh, help, help fires burn, according to researchers. Now, Antarctica had intense volcanic activity caused by tectonics during the Cretaceous, as suggested by the presence of fossil remains in strata related to ash falls, the researchers said. 
it's plausible that volcanic activity ignited the paleo wildfires that created the charcoal reported here. Now the researchers are looking for new records of paleo fires in other locations in Antarctica. This study was published online October 20th in the journal Polar Research from Live Science by Laura Gegel, and it's on Science Alert. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support.